Let us now learn the various multiplication techniques which can help us find out the product of two numbers in a faster way. Now the first technique that we are going to understand here is called split and merge. That is nothing but break the number into two parts as per your convenience and then merge the individual calculations. If you remember, a similar concept was discussed even in case of additions. That is to split the number into two parts, add tens places, units places, hundreds places separately and then merge all the answers to get the final required answer. So a similar technique can also be applied in case of simple multiplications. Let's take some examples to understand this. Let's say we have to multiply the numbers 12 and 23. For example, in a given question, we come across a situation where the numbers 23 and 12 have to be multiplied. So going by the general multiplication procedure, what we do here is 23 into 12. 2 into 3 is 6, 2 into 2 is 4. And then 1 into 3 is 3, 1 into 2 is 2. So the final answer would be 6, 7 and 2. That is 276. So 23 into 12 is equal to 276. No doubt friends, the answer is correct. But if you ask me, the method is absolutely wrong. Why? Because we cannot afford to waste our precious time by writing such numbers on paper and getting the required answer. Why? Because the questions that you see here are very simple. That means the multiplication can be done without even writing these numbers on paper. And as I already mentioned, once we put pen on paper, we end up wasting a lot of time. So let us see how can we keep this simple calculations simple and get the answers without doing any paperwork. As you can see here, 12 into 23. That means the number 12 should be taken 23 times. What we are going to do here is split one of the numbers and then merge the calculations. For example, if we take 12 into 23, we understand that 12 should be taken 23 times. Any product A into B means a particular number A is taken B times or B is taken A times. For example, when we say that 6 into 3 is 18, that means the number 6 has been collected 3 times. So 6 plus 6 is 12 and then 6 is 18. Or otherwise, 3 into 6 is also 18. Here, the number 3 has been taken 6 times. So 3 when we take 6 times, we get 3 plus 3 6, again plus 3 9, plus 3 12, plus 3 15 and plus 3 18. So this is what happens in any product that we do. A particular number A is taken B times to get the product A into B. Now, if we try to understand the same thing holds true for any multiplication that we do. So even in this case, we can understand that the number 12 should be taken 23 times. Taking 12 23 times is a little difficult task. So what we'll do here is split the number 23. That means break it into two parts as per our convenience. For example, 23 here can be taken as 20 plus 3. 23 is nothing but 20 plus 3. So this question is same as 12 into 20 plus 3. Now, if we try to look at it, it's like 12 taken 20 times and 12 taken 3 times. That means instead of taking 12 23 times, what we do here is first take it 20 times and then take it 3 more times. So 12 when we take 20 times, we get 240. Why? Because 12 into 2 is 24. So 12 into 20 will be 240. So this product here will be equal to 240. And then we also know that 12 into 3 is 36. So 12 into 3 here is 36. And when we add both of them, that means when we merge these calculations, we get the required answer that is 276. 240 plus 36 is 276. So if we try to compare with the regular procedure, we have got the same answer. Now the point here is we need not write these steps. We have to just visualize them and get the answer. That is nothing but 23 we know is 20 plus 3. So 12 when taken 20 times, we get 240 and 12 when we take 3 times, we get 36. 240 plus 36 is 276. So as you can see here, the same answer can be obtained without writing any of the steps. Remember, you need not write these steps on paper. I am writing this only so that you can understand. Otherwise, these steps can be visualized as it is a very simple process. The other way of doing the same calculation is to split the number 12. For example, 12 into 23 is same as 23 into 12. So we can understand that the number 23 should be taken 12 times. 
So instead of taking it 12 times, what you do is first take it 10 times and then take it two times. That means the number 12 is not 12. It is 10 plus 2. Split it into two parts, 10 and 2. So 23 which has to be taken 12 times, what we do is first take it 10 times and then 2 times. 23 when we take 10 times, 23 into 10 is 230 and 23 into 2 is 46. 230 plus 46 we know is 276. So again as you can see here we get the same answer 276 without writing any of the steps on paper. So the point to be observed here is if it is a simple calculation like this one, try to avoid writing anything on paper. Simply split one of the numbers as per your convenience and then merge the calculations. So 12 into 23 or 23 into 12 can be taken as 276. So if you are comfortable in breaking the number 23, try to take it as 20 plus 3 and get the answer. Otherwise, if you are comfortable with breaking 12 as 10 plus 2, then split it as 10 plus 2 and get the required answer. Remember friends, speed maths is all about being comfortable with the given numbers. So you need to follow only that method which is comfortable for you. Let us take a few more examples to understand this concept of split and merge. Let's look at the second one here that is 16 into 19. And as you can see here, the number 16 has to be taken 19 times. Now taking 19 times as such is a difficult process. So what we'll do here is try to break the number 19. Now 19 can be taken as 20 minus 1. 19 is equal to 20 minus 1. So instead of taking the number 16 19 times, what we do here is first take it 20 times and then return it one time. That is nothing but first we are taking it 20 times and because we have got it one time extra, we need to return it back because the actual calculation is 16 into 19. So 16 into 20, that means 16 when we take 20 times will be equal to 320 but because 16 into 2 is 32. So 16 into 20 is 320. But we very well understand that we have taken it one time extra. So we need to return that. We need to return 16 one time. 16 into 1 is equal to 16. So from 320, we need to take this 16 out. We have to return that. That means 320 minus 16. 320 minus 16 is equal to 304. So we can say that 16 into 19 is equal to 304. So there is no need to write anything on paper. Simply break the number as per your convenience and try to merge the calculations to get the required answer. The same calculation can be done in the other way as well. 19 can be taken 10 times and then it can be taken 6 times. But for me, that is a difficult process when compared to 19 as 20 minus 1. I am comfortable in breaking 19 as 20 minus 1. So I always follow that 19 is 20 minus 1. If you are comfortable with taking 16 as 10 plus 6, then you can proceed with that. Remember friends, always do only what is comfortable for you. It is not about doing the calculations fast. It is about being comfortable when you do the calculations. Speed automatically follows you when you are comfortable in what you are doing. The third question here is 36 into 21. Now here the number 36 has to be taken 21 times. Now the obvious way to do it here is break 21 as 20 plus 1. 36 should be taken 20 times and then one more time. We know that 36 into 2 is 72. So 36 into 20 will be 720 and we need it one more time. Why? Because the actual question says 36 into 21 and 36 into 1 we know is 36. So 36 when we take 20 times we get 720 and 36 into 1 is 36. 720 plus 36 is equal to 756. So without writing anything on paper we can say that the answer here is 756. And moving on to the last one 97 into 17. Friends, if you look at it, it appears to be difficult. But then if you get the right idea, this is one of the easiest calculations that we have. Here, 97 should be taken 17 times. Or otherwise, we can say that the number 17 has to be taken 97 times. Now, a simple way of doing it would be taking 17 97 times. Now, 97 can be split as 100 minus 3. 97 is nothing but 100 minus 3. So we know that 17 which has to be taken 97 times can be first taken 100 times and then returned 3 times. 17 into 100 is 1700 and 17 into 3 is 51. 
If you have no idea what 17 into 3 is, then again break 17 as 10 plus 7. So 17 into 3 will become 10 into 3 plus 7 into 3. 10 into 3 is 30, 7 into 3 is 21 and 30 plus 21 is 51. So in this way at each and every step where you are not able to get the product or we are not able to simplify the given calculation, you break it as per your convenience and try to merge them. So 17 into 3 we know is 51. Now if you try to look at the overall calculation, 17 has to be taken 97 times. So we first take it 100 times. We get 1700 and then return it 3 times. 17 into 3 we know is 51. So from 1700, 51 should be subtracted. Why? Because we are giving it back. We are losing something. So 1700 minus 51. Again the same point. If you are comfortable with subtracting 51, you can directly say that 1700 minus 51 is equal to 1649. Otherwise, if you have any problem in subtracting 51, you try to break it as 50 plus 1. 51 is not 51. It is 50 plus 1. So 1700 minus 50 is 1650 and 1650 minus 1 why because 51 has to be subtracted. So first subtract 50 we get 1650 and then when we subtract 1 we get 1649 as the answer. So this is how simple calculations can be kept simple and we can get the answer without writing any of the steps on paper. So practice well on this technique of split and merge and get the required answers as quick as possible. After learning about the concept of split and merge to multiply two simple numbers, let's see how many of you can solve these five questions and get all five of them correct. Remember friends, to get the answers for these questions, you need not write anything on paper. So let's see how many of you get all the five answers correct. Alright friends, the time is up. Let's see how many of you have got all the 5 answers correct. The first one here is 14 into 29. Now 29 is 30 minus 1. So 14 taken 30 times is 420 and 14 written 1 time is minus 14. 420 minus 14 will be 406. The next one here is 17 into 31. So 31 can be taken as 30 plus 1. 17 taken 30 times is 510 and 17 taken one more time is 17. 510 plus 17 is 527. The next one here is 69 into 7 or 7 into 69. So 7 should be taken 69 times. So taking it 70 times we get 490 but because we have taken one time extra return it back. 7 into 1 is 7. So 490 minus 7 will be equal to 483. The fourth one is 43 into 12. So 12 can be taken as 10 plus 2. 43 into 10 plus 43 into 2. That is 430 plus 86. 430 plus 86 will be equal to 516. And the last one here is 23 into 17. So 23 should be taken 17 times. Let's take it 20 times and give it back 3 times. 23 into 20 is 460. And 23 into 3 is 69. So when we take 20 times, we get 460. And when we return 3 times, we get minus 69. So 460 minus 69 will be 391. So these are the answers for the given 5 questions. I hope all of you have got all 5 of them correct. Practice well on these and make sure that next time onwards, you can do such simple calculations as quick as possible without writing anything on paper.